Right, boys and girls, sports fans everywhere, Den JDOD, and once again in Sydney with John Moy, who works for Australia Post. Come on, John, what do you do? Ah, oh, well, I uh, these days I, I focus on UI around the SAP mm. uh, side of things, and also mobility. Mm. So basically, user user interface and channels. Right, and um, in a little while, you're going to show me what you've got going there. What was the uh, requirement, what was it you were trying to do and why have you got this uh, running the way you have? Well basically we had, uh, we have a requirement for our, our um, uh, account customers to basically self-service their accounts, mm -hmm. right, so they can log on online, mm. they can pay their own bills. Mm. Um, they a bit like FedEx, that kind of thing? Yeah, okay. yeah. And, and they can even if they want to log uh, queries or, yep. or you know, uh, things like that. Okay. And um, so in order to do that, you don't really want them ha having to deal with an old UI, do you? No, you want absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> okay. Right, so any minute now, boys and girls, you're going to be treated to a nice little surprise, SAP like you've never seen before. Is that true, John? Uh, absolutely. Great. Okay, let's do it. So what this is is a SAP solution today um, for what I call customer account self-service. Um, SAP's product term is Bill of Direct. So if you were to purchase this product um, to enable your customers to perform self-service actions on their accounts, um, that's the user interface that they would actually get out of the box today. Mm. Um, we've found that when we actually looked under the covers of the, the code here, this is pretty much 10 years old. Um, in fact, a lot of the code items are dated 2001 or 2002. So it's really of that era. Uh, we, we spoke to SAP about whether they were refacing this or um, um, renovating this, and, and we didn't get any any uh, commitment or any timeline. So effectively, we decided to build our own. Show us what it looks like. Okay, so what we're looking at actually is a, uh, a pilot release that we have for our account customers to be able to perform self-service actions on, on their business accounts, we've basically built our own custom uh, user interface layer. And, and that's using our own branded web templates. Um, one of the good things is that our own templates we know are fully accessibility compliant, so we don't need to have any concerns about that. Um, you can see uh, the user interface is very modern, it's very 2012. Um, and it needs to be what I describe a walk-up user interface. So, uh, you know, account customers out there on the web, that they don't, you know, they don't receive any training. They need to know um, um, how to use this without, without any, any sort of training. So this is what we've built. Uh, it's currently being piloted. We're releasing to 80,000 of our account customers in the next month or so. Okay, how did you go about it? What's the, what's the secret sauce here? Well, what we did effectively is we, um, we build our own, our, our own services. It's, it's interesting when we sat down with SAP about this, that even in their own slide packs, they said the option is to use their Bill of Direct product, or you could build your own UI mm. um, by exposing your own, your own uh, services. We've actually built some REST-based APIs, um, and they basically feed, feed data real time into this user interface. The, the UI itself is, is basically HTML empowered by jQuery. Mm. Um, using our custom templates, as I said. One of the things I really like about this is it demonstrates that you can have a really modern, professional-looking user interface, a very usable user interface, but at runtime, all those figures that you see are actually being served straight out of your ERP, ERP system. So you're getting the, the feed that's directly out of your system of record. So what you haven't sought to do, rather, is to bolt on some third-party system on the front with its own database mm. and, and have to sync the data in the background. Mm. Now, you're getting that data real time, so you can be sure that the figures you're seeing are coming from uh, your SAP system. Okay. And um, what tools and technology have you had to use, or have you used, rather, or was it all custom-built, or what happened? Well, there's a mix of on, on the, the user interface layer, the, the HTML layer, there's a mix of JavaScript and, and HTML, effectively. Mm. Um, on the server side, uh, basically we've built up um, um, ABAP-based classes. So there's ABAP development uh, serving data via the ICM, tried and true um, and trusted ICM, mm. right, that many customers have today and probably don't leverage as, as, uh, to, what it, to the extent that they should. 
And you know, whenever I hear the word custom, I always think, oh my God, hundreds of thousands of dollars, years of development, blah, blah, blah. What, what was it like for you? Well, look, to be fair, we put a lot of investment into this, right? We had usability consultants mm. that came in um, and helped us with the design. So, so there's a lot of focus around the usability side of things. I think there's roughly six months development that's gone into building this. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, yeah, personally, I would say that I'd love SAP to, to invest in that in that sort of thing mm. and, and have um, all customers to um, benefit from it. Mm. Um, but you know, fr from a, a supportability standpoint, you know, my take on this is we're we're really taking advantage of sort of your your pace layered you know architectural principles. So we're we're exposing. Uh, APIs uh, and data um, in REST-based APIs that can be consumed into this web page, for instance, but in future we could consume them into a, a native iPhone app wow. or a native Android app. So that server side, uh, in terms of the coding on the server side, that's, that's very much um, protected, right? Our investment in that is protected and we can basically chop and change the UI layer at will. Wow. Right, so coming back to what you were showing, showing there, you, you've developed a whole ton of tools and technology for internal purposes, right? Mm -hmm. Are you going to be able to reuse those internally or are they very much um, specific for, uh, for what you have done so far? What do you think? I think some elements we, we can reuse. Right. So certain elements of how we feed the data mm -hmm. uh, we've built to be reusable. Um, but other components are it's pretty much our own. Okay, and of the components that are fairly generic, I, I asked you this question off camera, do you see the potential for being able to say, you know what, we could package these up and either, you know, I don't know, maybe even give them away if, if that was uh, the appropriate thing to do to put back into the community, or possibly even sell it as technology that would help others. What do you? What do you? I know you haven't discussed it internally uh, you, at your <laughs> employer, and, and it would probably be a little dangerous to have this conversation. But nevertheless, I mean, what is your personal view on it? And I, I, I take it it'll be yeah. a personal view. Okay. Well, firstly, up front, I should say that I haven't developed this particular app myself. Okay. As the architect. Of, of of the day I, I made the architectural call to go down this path right. and, and, to, and for the development teams mm. to, to build But that's what matters. <laughs> of course it does. Right? Right? Otherwise we <laughs> might be struggling with the old, old UI right now. But, mm. um, so I, I should just say that at the outset. Okay. Uh, my personal view, uh, yeah, I mean I look at that and think, wow, why, why can't we get that from SAP, right? We've invested around six months of effort mm. right, into that and it's probably not a lot for SAP to do that mm. and, and to deliver that to its entire customer mm. base. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I guess, I mean, I, I can't, you know, I know I wouldn't be allowed to mm. you know, put it into the community. Mm. Um, yeah, that's, not as things stand today. No, not as but maybe if somebody, today. But maybe if somebody important who sees this video and they might say, do you know what, that's a blooming good idea. What a great idea. It is a good idea, folks. <laughs> do you reckon it would fly yeah, or not? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Okay. John, very brave man. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Thanks, Thank mate.